out here at the blowing dust area today in a mid-july morning i just put up this little custom rocket company atomic just to get a feel for the breeze a little sounding rocket and i'm here with uh, model rockets 321 today and this thing went a long way <laughs> we are going to be doing some chasing the wind is only forecast to be like eight seven eight miles an hour but up high it's humming so gonna be interesting but as always it'll be fun Everything's good, but that's a three minute walk from where I just picked this thing up. This is an Apogee Catalyst. I built this to become a desert dweller. <laughs> Everything gets beat up so bad out here. It looks pretty now, but eventually it's gonna be beat and that's okay because out here you need to beat them, build them hardy. Um, we're putting this up on an F-15-4 on a pretty breezy day with a 30 inch parachute that comes with the kit. And today, Model Rockets 321 is with me today. We're both out here at the blowing dust area having a blast. He'll be pushing some buttons so I can get some photos going. And we got a little butterfly here. That's a good omen. <laughs> All right, Catalyst going up F-15-4 in five, four, three, two, one. Nice little lift off of those. And that's actually great because it's going to come back this way. Yeah, plus it's a little heavier than that little atomic I launched a while ago. Yeah, nice. All right. Uh, there. Oop, and then taking off. Yeah. Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> yes, we can see. Gosh. right over where your Saturn landed. Yeah. All right, nice, nice slope, yeah. sweet. Those, those 30 inch shoots are magic. Yep. All right, Catalyst, nice down easy. Half a desert blessing catch in the bush. Sweet, and let's see here. Always wanna check the fins just for fun. These are wood fins. Everything epoxied in there, built to spec. Got the little zipper guard here, that worked great. Marvelous kit. Next is an Estes Mayhem, two stage, D12 to D12-3. Got an altimeter in the nose, the payload section. The uh, nose and payload is actually an Orbitron. I didn't feel like painting it black. It comes white. Uh, you're supposed to paint it black. Notice the Orbitron has a black setup, so I just swapped it exactly the same size and shape. So, interchangeable parts. Mayhem, two stager going up in five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Just what you don't want to have happen.
Oh, there we go, shoots out. It's coming right back to us. It just heard the booster hit. Yep, I got it. <clears throat> this is a cop out from the so longs we've launched out here and I've lost both of mine. So this is a little, a little bit tamer. One day, Model Rockets 321 and I will have round three of our so-longs out here. I know Kevin's models and more wants to join us for that. He's building his. We might have a, a uh, drag race with three of them. That'd be fun. That wind is just brewed up there today. tell from a distance when they're laying flat there's a problem Houston we have a problem pop in uh oh shoot and the nose cone's gone and the altimeter's gone yay <laughs> oh, no, yeah there's no way to find that I have no idea where it went back over there yeah Probably when uh, the ejection charge, huh? You did your phone. Did you put any tape or anything extra around there to hold it? Here, but not at the top. Yep. All right. Well. Mayhem booster. I covered all sides with carbon fiber. I'm tired of boosters out here just getting destroyed. So it seems to have worked. It hit right there. All right. Let's see if I can find the nose and the uh, altimeter I lost. This is a Lock Precision Nano Mag. These things are built to go screaming high and little. It's probably 15 inches long. Wind's died down. This should go up nice and high and hopefully recover well. No altimeter, nothing like that, because I just lost it. So ain't one to go in there. <laughs> one. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Pop. Wow, there we go. Why? What? That wasn't that long of a. longer than I thought. Oh, blue parachute, okay. Yes. All right, nano mag. It's all laid out like it's supposed to. Let's do the fin check. They should be good. Yeah, a little beat on the landing there. But that's built. This thing, by the time I'm finished flying it 40 or 50 times, it's gonna be a wreck. But it's okay, because it's desert. It's a desert bird. All right, thanks Keith. You're welcome, no problem. <laughs>